Hello friends, today we will learn working of JK flip-flop. JK flip-flop can be construct using SR latch. So first we will draw SR latch. SR latch has two NAND gates. NAND gate number one, NAND gate number two. Its outputs are Q bar and Q and inputs are R and S then in SR latch output of first NAND gate is connected as input of second and output of second is connected as input of first then for RS is equal to 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 QN and QN bar which are final values of outputs are 1 1 which is forbidden condition 1 0 which is set condition 0 1 which is reset condition and 1 1 which is q q bar no change condition now explanation of this part we have already learned in previous video of sr latch so link of that i will provide in pin comment or in description further we will modify this circuit by connecting two more nand gates over here now total number of NAND gates are 4 1 2 3 and 4 then we will connect one common input to clock clock is a periodic signal which alternates between 0 and 1 then main inputs of JK flip-flop are J and K and another third input is there which is get getting connected to Q bar and to Q ok so let's solve it now let's try to find value of R and S once we get value of R and S we can easily find QN and QN bar using this table so R and S we want so for R means for gate number 1 inputs are CLK, J and Q bar so it should be CLK into J into Q bar the whole bar and for S it is CLK into K into Q ok so this is simple equation of NAND gates so if you want to find the value of R what we will require we will require CLK we will require j we will require q bar ok and to find the value of s we will require clk we will require k and we will require q ok so from that we will get the value of s so clk if 0 let's consider first case where clk is 0 then you can see from the circuit one of the input of gate number 1 and gate number 2 becomes 0 and property of NAND gate says that if one of the input of NAND gate is 0 then its output becomes 1 therefore R will become 1 S will become 1 and we don't care what are the values of J, Q bar, K and Q ok so we must want our CLK to be 1 for all of the cases and at that time jk should have 0 0 value and at that time q will be either 0 and 1 therefore q bar is equal to 1 0 then next possible value of jk is 0 1 at that time q should be 0 1 therefore q bar will be 1 0 again next possible value of jk is 1 0 at that time q should be 0 1 therefore q bar should be 1 0 then last possible value of jk is 1 1 at that time q should be 0 1 therefore q bar should be 1 0 once we find all these values then it is very easy to find the value of R and S 
and once we get the value of r and s then we can easily find the value of q n and q n bar using this table okay so for r we should perform multiplication of clk j and q first three columns and we will take inverse of it so 1 into 0 into 1 is 0 inverse of it is 1 1 into 0 into 0 is 0 inverse is 1 1 into 0 into 1 is 0 inverse is 1 1 into 0 into 0 is 0 inverse is 1 1 into 1 into 1 is 1 inverse is 0 1 into 1 into 0 is 0 inverse is 1 1 into 1 into 1 is 1 inverse is 0 1 into 1 into 0 is 0 inverse is 1 now for s we will use this equation clk into k into q bar clk into k into q bar means first last column and second last column so 1 into 0 into 0 0 inverse of it will become 1 1 into 0 into 1 is 0 inverse is 1 1 into 1 into 0 1 into 1 into 0 inverse is 1 into 1 into 1 1 into 1 into 0 inverse is 1 1 into 1 into 1 is 1 inverse is 0 1 into 0 into 0 0 inverse is 1 1 into 0 into 1 0 inverse is 1 1 into 1 into 0 is 0 inverse is 1 1 into 1 into 1 is 1 inverse is 0 so these are the values now we will use this table to get the value of q and q n bar so when r is equal to 1 s is equal to 1 uh, q and q n bar will become q and q bar which is no change condition again it will become q and q bar which is no change condition q and q bar which is no change condition q and q bar which is no change condition then for r is equal to 1 s is equal to 0 this condition it is outputs are 0 1 so it will become 0 1 which is reset condition now for 0 1 which is second condition we will get 1 0 which is set condition then for 1 1 again we will get q and q bar which is no change condition then for 0 1 we will get 1 0 which is set condition and for 1 0 we will get 0 1 which is reset condition ok so these are the values so let's try to find when j, j is equal to 0 and k is equal to 0 at these two places our flip-flop remains in no change condition ok so final value will be no change for j is equal to 0 and k is equal to 1 our flip-flop is one time no change and one time reset so we will consider reset condition when j is 0 k is 1 then for 1 0 j is 1 k is 0 at that time once time we will get set and one time we will get no change so we will this consider this condition as set now for 1 1 for 1 1 one time we will get set one time we will get reset so how to find whether it is set or reset for that we will see the main input q and final output qn so if main input is q ok qn becomes 1 and if main input q is 1 qn becomes 0 so this is toggle condition next condition is opposite of previous one that's why this condition is called as toggle condition and for this we are getting no change condition so 